For him to not do this, to not act according to his nature, only means that it has been squashed and discouraged by negative experiences. One only touches a hot stove once or twice at most. When we were younger, what did we think? We wanted a wife and a family, and then we got hurt. And then she changed her mind. And then we said, fuck it. Time went by. And then we got softer, and then we maybe invited somebody back into our life or pursued somebody or became playboys and Casanovas and Don Juans. And some just tapped out and said, screw it, I'm done. And finally, a little tribute to my widower followers. Pay attention to widowers, folks. Pay attention to them. They are so ignored and overlooked. Everybody pays attention to widows. And I know a lot of widows. The widower suffers silently. So if you know a guy whose wife passed away, young or old, get him out for a power walk. Take him out to dinner. Ask him to meet you for coffee. A beer, cocktail, whatever. Invite him out and listen to a band or something. Just get him out of the house. This one thing I know, you may be saving a life. And there is nothing like having coffee with a woman and just being around the feminine spirit. The feminine spirit can either be a curse or it can be very healing. But if you are a widower, part of your healing is going to come from a feminine spirit. Tell me about your motorcycles or motor scooters. Put it in the comment section down below. I'd like to see what you have currently, what you are riding currently, or what you have ridden. And tell me about your riding habits. If you are living in an area where there's four seasons, when do you stop riding? When does it get too cold for you? Or are you a four season or a three season rider? Do you need a guest on your show regarding men's issues, widowers, leaving a marriage or a relationship, bouncing back after a breakup or divorce. You need someone on your show that can talk about those things. Or even beards and men's grooming in general. I'm more than happy to be on your show or podcast. And I'm always looking for sponsors for the Daybreak Show. It reaches a lot of people and it's evergreen. People watch the Daybreak Show for years. People are still watching old Daybreak Shows. If you sponsor a Daybreak Show, I will do a little commercial either in the beginning or at the end or in the middle. Like, for instance, Triple Bastard Dark Roast Coffee is the coffee sponsor for the Daybreak Show. And it's working out really well for him. There's a lot of people who wouldn't know about Triple Bastard Dark Roast if it wasn't for the Daybreak Show. So do you have a product or a service that you want to promote? Hit me up, and I will tell you what the fees are for that. And with that, finish your coffee, and I'll see you on the next Daybreak Show, your home of sanity, clarity, and reason. Perfect. Great idea!